Hello beautiful internet family, Dan A from danstube.tv and today I'm checking out the lychee following mode that's only available in the beta version of the Android version of the app. So for most people out there they won't get a chance to test this out until it comes out as a fully released version of lychee. Um, but these were my early impressions of the follow mode. This is something that is not available on the iOS version which is a massive bummer for me seeing as I have an iPhone. But I will have a link to check out the iOS version of the Lychee Beta. Now the Android version of the Lychee Beta gives you this amazing follow mode, which is the closest thing right now that we can get to a comprehensive following mode for your Mavic Mini. Now you have full control over the distance, the height, as well as the heading and a few other settings as well. So I did some basic tests here to see how it would operate in some different kind of settings. And overall, I was really, really impressed with it. Like I said, it's pretty much the only version right now. I know that Drone Link are working on something and I know that Lychee will release some updates in the coming weeks. But right now, this is pretty much the best we can get for the Mavic Mini in terms of its follow modes. Now, I played around with the altitude and the distance slightly. I definitely noticed that I needed to have a bit more distance between the drone itself and the controller. It was definitely a little too close and at times would kind of look a little bit jerky with kind of sudden movements. Uh, so that was something that was a little bit of an oversight, I guess, when I did this video here. Um, but when it comes to the actual follow mode, it's a lot more reliable than the tracking mode that you can get on the Lychee iOS beta. That version is just not reliable at all. It's basically using an algorithm. So it's like software that they've programmed, uh, whereas the follow mode is more of a GPS enabled following mode. So basically it's just connecting to the controller and it's using that as the signal point to follow. It's a lot more reliable. I had no errors. It never lost me or anything like that. The only thing like I mentioned was it was a little bit jerky because I had it pretty close. It was kind of over the top of me most of the time. Uh, so I just needed to adjust that distance a little bit more. I thought that 15 meters would have been enough, but I really should have pushed it back a bit further again. This video definitely gives you an idea of how the Android version of the app is actually going to operate. For the most part, it was fantastic. Like I said, no major issues. Now, as you can see here, I'm adjusting the altitude, which just immediately happens, which is fantastic to see. Before you even kind of start doing anything, you can adjust that to kind of see where the drone's going to be in relation to the subject. And then you can change the heading so that the drone will follow you from that particular direction that you've set it at. So that's a really cool thing as well. And you can get some unique kind of perspectives changing the heading of the drone. Now, as you can see from this shot right here, it follows me for the most part and it does a great job. Again, I needed to have a bit more distance away from the drone. It's just a little bit too jerky. So I think if I had a bit more distance, it would have been a lot more reliable there. But this is a really good example of what you just can't get at all with active track modes and any of the tracking modes available for the Mavic Mini in the Lychee Beta. So basically I went through a set of trees there, just a forest basically, and it just continues because it's obviously connecting to the signal of the controller and it's not trying to use an algorithm to figure out where the person is. So it's just so much more reliable for shots like that and you can get some really unique perspectives. Another thing that's cool is as you start recording, you can change the heading and the drone will automatically adjust to that location. So it'll be facing you from a different direction. And again, this all just happens on the fly. And for the most part, it's been really reliable. Like I haven't had any issues besides the jerkiness. It's really responsive and it is reliable. You know, it hasn't had any errors at all. Even when it loses me, it just figures out, well, the controller's back here, so let's move back to this spot. And you can see there it moves back as I'm out of frame and it does a fantastic job. This is just a basic shot of me just walking. And uh, again, you can see it's kind of yawing left and right a little bit. It's trying to keep that perfect point and that will be better if I had a bit more distance and also as they kind of tweak it and make it a bit more reliable this will just work out a lot better but you can see how fantastic it is this is literally a Mavic Mini 
tracking me, it's following me, using a follow mode available in the Lightshoe Beta. So this is something that we never really thought was going to come to the Mavic Mini, and now the Mavic Mini can track you, it can follow you, it can do waypoints through the Drone Link app, and there's just so much more potential for this amazing drone here. I really hope that Lightshoe bring a follow mode to the iOS version of Lightshoe. That would be honestly remarkable, um, but I guess I'm a little bit biased in the fact that I have an iPhone. So Android users are very lucky here to be able to have that additional functionality that just isn't available for iOS right now. I don't know when it's going to be a public release. The beta has been in effect for a little while now, and there have been a few, few tiny, tiny little updates, nothing crazy big, and it's just hard to say when this will fully come out and whether we will see a true follow mode for iOS devices. I know that they are tweaking the tracking modes and trying to get that algorithm and that software integration uh, as smooth as possible, and I'm excited to see how that all works out. Um, but I'd love your thoughts on the Android version versus the iOS version. I will have those links in the description below. Thank you so much, guys, and have a great day.